The term serial killer did not even exist in the 1930s, but it perfectly describes the unknown madman known as the Torso Murderer. On September 23, 1935, two boys found the naked remains of a young male lying neatly on a hillside near Kingsbury Run, a gully laced with railroad tracks. The killer had cut off the head and genitals. It had rope burns on the wrists. The victim had struggled. Nearby, police found a second body, identically mutilated, but far more decomposed. Sixty feet from the second body was the head of the first. On January 26, 1936, a Cleveland butcher found two large burlap bags sitting in the snow. They contained the neatly disarticulated arm, two thighs, and the lower torso of a woman. 